All right, welcome back, everybody. Here she is, Megan Trainer. Her career went into the stratosphere after, you know, this song. You've probably heard it. By the way, the name of that song is all about that bass. It changed Megan Trainor's life, uh, certainly her career forever, a string of follow-up hits. The latest single from the Peanuts movie soundtrack is poised to be another one. Megan is here. You make us happy. <laughs> like, you cannot sit still when your music is on. Oh, good. Thank you. That's I'm, amazing. I'm watching the video, and we've seen the video 38,000 times. And, and I'm wondering, did you have a clue? Oh, no. None. No. Yeah. In recording that video, I was terrified, and I was just like, all of a sudden, there's big cameras in my face, and I have to dance and be a pop star. So I was just faking it the whole time. Like, and I other knew what people I was doing. had passed on it, though, too. I mean, is it true that Beyonce had passed on that one? Yeah, it was hard because we, I, when I wrote this song as a songwriter, I was kind of like, ugh, well, no one's going to hear this because no one will sing this. You know, when you write, you're trying to think, like, who can, who can actually sing this and pull it off? But um, we, we sent it to our label because we're like, well, she can sing and rap. That's another hard thing. Mm -hmm. yes. A lot of ours sung and rap, you know? So then L.A. Reid heard it at Epic Records and was like, you're a pop star. You got to do it. You're a pop star. And I was like, all right, cool. Let go. <laughs> and then you're a pop star. Yeah. Just there like that. Yeah. <laughs> it, the process of writing this song, is this like it came into your head one night and you just went with it? No. I uh, went in with a writer. Uh, a uh, gentleman, Kevin Kadish, who I just worked with yesterday mm -hmm. for the next album, and it was our first song we ever wrote together. And it came in like a half hour. I met him, I talked about my life, talked about how we both grew up as chubby kids, and like had I had my brothers and my family, and had to learn how to get comfortable in my own skin, you know? And we wrote this song in a fun half hour. Do you think part of why this song is so catchy, you can't get mm -hmm. out of your head to a point where sometimes we want to kill you because you can't. Yes, yeah, sorry, I get that a lot. I get that. You, you understand like, that. You, it just doesn't you. get out. Uh, but I realized it's real. Yeah. It's real. It's not just a little pop slogan. No, yeah. And the whole, the song itself is the demo. Mm -hmm. uh, when I left that day, that's what it was. There's no autotune anywhere. It's just very raw and real it's just wow. you just it laid me. it out there yeah you and wish then you they had, mastered it you wish you had a song like that when you were growing up absolutely i say that all the time and when i heard it too i was like this is cool and i wish people will hear it but i mostly wish that i could could have heard it when i was like 13. yeah you know? um your throat you, you you had to stop for a while how yeah. scary is that what happened it's so scary it's still scary uh, I was in the middle of the tour, I was on top of the world, I had everything, and then I, I just sounded raspy, like this, kind of. Mm -hmm. I'm really raspy today, I think, because I overdid it yesterday. Mm -hmm. But um, I felt okay, but the doctor was like, it's not good, it's very not good, and if you keep going, you're just going to be out longer. So stop now and fix it. So we stopped and we got surgery, and I was out for two weeks, there's mm -hmm. no talking. And then vocal therapy. Do you shut it down now? Like, do you really have you ch have you changed your life? Because I try of that? to, yeah. but don't since, answer that question. Yeah, right. <laughs> don't no, talk. it's hard because I was on a break, and it's it's almost nice when because there's so many people that want me in, everywhere, yes. you know, right now. Um, but it was nice being like I'm on vocal rest. I can't do anything. But now being back and being able to speak and sing, everyone's. Everyone's like, let's more. Go. Let's go. Yeah. And the peanuts. So this is so exciting. I mean, who didn't grow up watching the peanuts? Yeah, this and, is a big deal. That's my father. Isn't it? And you sang with him growing up, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And he plays him. the organ at our church, and I would, since I was a little girl, I would always sit next to him instead of in the crowd, you know? Do you have other family members there. in there? Yeah, I have my cousins, uh, <laughs> my two cousins on the right, two girls, Corinna and Alina, and then I have my whole Trinidadian family on the, on the left, my auntie, my uncle, and my three little Trini cousins. All right, so is there an influence? They're from Trinidad. Trinidad's very... Influential music. Yeah, Soka. Soka, Soka. What, the, yeah. what do they call it? The, of the Caribbean. What do you call it? Calypso uh, and all Calyp that. Yeah, the sound of Calypso. Yeah, yeah the soul of Calypso. My aunt and my uncle are Soka singers. And um, my uncle, when we went there, we went for vacation. Mm -hmm. And my aunt just came as a babysitter, and that's how they met and fell in love. 
So I've been listening to Soka since I was seven, so you can definitely hear the Caribbean love in this song. <laughs> and and uh, for you, you're very young. I mean, you're just, you know, you're just kind of starting. Do you look long term or are you just enjoying the fruits of this moment? Oh, yeah. I plan out ideas for the future right now. I have like the next album all planned and have singles ready and I just I want to keep going while I'm here. Oh, this is the song. <laughs> I told you this is the one oh, my daughter is learning. Yes. Oh. This is very special to me, this song. Why is that? Because I wrote it thinking about my family. I wrote it with um, a guy and a, and a woman, and she had a fiance, and he has a family and three daughters. And we all sat there and just talked about how much we love these people and how we would be an absolute wreck if anything happened, you know? Mm -hmm. And um, we wrote this song. We wanted it to be for lovers as well, but mostly like just humans that you, you just love. pour your heart into it don't you yeah <laughs> I had this grown man crying in the session <laughs> <laughs> It was cool. All right. uh, let's tell you this. Uh, Better When I'm Dancing is available now on iTunes. The Peanuts soundtrack comes out on Friday. 